So the summation operator uh, is a linear operator, which means it kind of acts like the distributed property. You can separate it like this. So it's 300. You could factor out that 300 from everything. And that's a summation from k equals 1 to 20 of k squared minus 5 times the summation of k equals 1 to 20. Just saving myself some writing there. And then plus the summation from k equals 1 to 20 of 1. Okay, so I broke it up and put it on each term. And if it is multiplied by a constant, we can factor out that constant. And so this is just a formula. When you're summing from i equals 1 to some number n of the term i squared, then it's n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Okay. So in this case, our n is 20, and the variable is instead of i, it's k. So it's still doing the same thing. So when we do this term, we're following this formula up here by plugging 20 over here. So this is 20 times 21, because that's 20, 20 plus 1. And then this is 20 times 2 is 40. 40 plus 1 is 41 over 6. And then we got 5 times. Now this, the sum of k, if it was the sum of uh, the formula is usually written as i, but from i equals 1 to n of i, that's n times n plus 1 over 2. So here, this term is going to be 20 times 21 over 2. And then here, from 1 to 20, that's, that's just saying 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 20 times, right? In other words, that's 1 times 20. Okay, so the first one. 20 times 21 times 41 divided by 6, 2,870. Then we got 20 times 21 divided by 2 times 5, so that's 1,050. And then 20 times 1 is 20. One eight four zero, then multiplying that by three hundred, then we're done. Five hundred fifty two thousand.